Hi, KB. Let's go over our math lesson for today, Thursday, May 21st. We are starting chapter 11 today, boys and girls, in math. And this chapter is going to teach us about measurement. And some of you measure things all the time. Some of you are very good already with understanding what's bigger, what's smaller, what's longer, what's shorter. So this chapter is just going to help us practice that more. Let's open our books to page 461 and we see a really fun looking playground. And at the bottom, we see a box with Curious George and the box says, a playground is an area designed for children to play. Which person on the park bench is bigger? You can point to the bigger person or you can circle the bigger person, but take a look at the bench. Which person is bigger? Find that person and point to that person or just circle it. And then let's turn to page 462. We have a brief review. You get to show what you know already for problem number one. Count how many objects you see in the set and write the number on the line. Do the same for both sets. So we have a set of pencils and a set of crayons. Count how many pencils you see, put it on the line. Remember, if it helps you, you can cross them out as you count them. Count how many crayons, put that number on the line. And then circle the set that has fewer. Which set has fewer, the pencils or the crayons. Circle the set with fewer. Now come down to number two. We have paper clips and markers. Count how many paper clips. Write that number on the line. Count how many markers. Put that number on the line. After you have your two numbers, which set shows more? The paper clips or the markers? Circle the set that shows more. And last, come down to number three. We have a blue cube train and a red cube train. Count how many cubes are in the blue train. Put that number. Count how many cubes in the red and put that number. Again, you can cross them off if that helps you to count. And for our cube train, circle the greater number. So look at your two numbers. Circle the greater number. Excellent. Let's move on to page 463. And here we have a picture and we see two flower pots in the picture. Put your finger on the flower pot that is bigger. We see our word down here says bigger. We know what that means. Which one of these pots on the table is bigger? Put your finger on it. And you should have put your finger on the pot that has the yellow flowers. That pot is a little bit bigger. If this pot is bigger, which pot is smaller? Put your finger on the smaller pot. Awesome. Okay, now listen to this direction. Circle to show the pot with more flowers. So we're not just looking for the bigger pot. Which pot has more flowers? Count how many flowers in the big pot. How many flowers in the smaller pot? Circle the pot that has more flowers. Let's turn the page. 464 and we have a game that you could play with anybody in your house. It won't take too long. If you have connecting cubes, just keep them close to you. You're going to need them. If you don't have connecting cubes, you can use Lego pieces. Anything that can kind of just connect. Anything that's the same size that can connect, we can use for this game. And you're also going to need a number cube. So take your number cube 
decide who's going to go first and roll the number cube and then move your marker that many spots. If you rolled two, you would move your marker one, two. If your marker lands on a space with a cube, then take one of the cubes that you have on your desk or a Lego piece and add it to your side. You get to keep it. Anytime you land on a cube, you get to add one cube. At the end, take a look at your cube train, or again, if you used Lego pieces and you have the same size Lego pieces, take a look at the train you have and the train your partner has. Who has the bigger train? Which train has more pieces? And have some fun with this game. It's not a long one, but it does help our lesson a little bit. Just practicing some more hands on of recognizing bigger and smaller. And now you are ready for chapter 11, which we will start next week. Great job, boys and girls. Keep it up and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.